What's up guys, Sean here, and today I want to show you my vinyl collection. I started collecting vinyls a couple months ago, and this is what I have so far. Uh, also, feel free to tell me I need a haircut, like I don't already know that. But, uh, first up, one of my favorite albums ever, Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. Bought this off of eBay for like 15 bucks, and I would have bought it at the record store, but it's like $30, and it's not even the original artwork, because it's like the 2011 reissue or whatever. But, uh, comes with all the lyrics. And, unfortunately, the, uh, sleeve isn't in the best of condition. But the record is actually in pretty good condition. I cleaned it, and there's very minimal static. And it's a nice, thick record as well. Definitely glad I got that. Next up, another one of my favorite bands, Coheed and Cambria. This is the Afterman Descension, and it's the uh, limited edition turquoise vinyl, which I thought looked cool. But the thing that kind of sucks is it looked like it was like solid turquoise on their website, but it's actually like kind of translucent. And another cool thing, it comes with like a poster of Ascension and Descension, and some artwork inside with all the lyrics, and then more artwork on the back. So yeah, really cool packaging on this. I wish more bands would do stuff like that, like posters and everything. Alright, now we have... If I can get it. Hall and Oates. Bigger than both of us. I love Hall and Oates. One of my favorite classic bands. Classic duos. Uh, it has Rich Girl on it, which is one of my favorite songs. Back Together Again. Um... You'll never learn. A lot of really great songs. This is a really solid record. Uh, the record itself isn't in the best of condition. There's quite a bit of static. I bought it at the local antique store for like $3, so I'm not going to complain too much. Like, you have to expect that. It comes with, like, lyrics as well. Yeah, I need definitely need to own more Hollow Notes. Hollow Notes is amazing. Next up, we have another one that I got at the antique store for like three bucks. Sticks, The Grand Illusion. I should honestly take it out of the plastic, but uh, inc it includes a lot of great songs like The Grand Illusion, Come Sail Away, um, Fooling Yourself. This is like their biggest album, I think, and Sticks is fucking awesome. Like, I don't understand how somebody couldn't like Sticks, but uh, it didn't come with a sleeve or anything. So I definitely need to buy some sleeves. Great record, great band. If you don't like sticks, go fuck yourself. No, not really. I could understand why somebody wouldn't like sticks, honestly. But uh, next up, no, more Coheed. Uh, it's the Afterman Ascension Big Beige demos, which is essentially just their frontman Claudio Sanchez's uh, demos from his house. And... It's not really that great of a record, because honestly, all the tracks really are is, uh... It's all of the Afterman Ascension, but it's essentially just the drums and... Or, guitar and vocal tracks with no drums and no bass. Which is kind of disappointing. Uh, it's honestly not that great to listen to, but, uh... It comes on some sweet-ass clear... Clear vinyl. So it looks cool. No lyrics or anything. Uh, I don't know, not really worth $20 in my eyes, unless you're a huge Coheed fan like I am, and you just want to own all the records. Next up we have Boston. I believe this is called Don't Look Back. I don't know, not that great of a record. I do not like it as much as their self-titled, but I got it at the antique store for like $3 as well, so I can't complain. Uh, it comes with all the lyrics and everything. The record itself isn't in the best condition unfortunately but yeah i love boston next up mellow hype black and white which is a mellow hype is a rap duo from odd future left brain and um haji beats uh really nice packaging it's like thick cardboard gatefold then performing live and the record itself is actually like it seems like it's like 200 gram or something it's really thick and it sounds really really nice doesn't come with lyrics or anything which is kind of disappointing there's the back yeah one of my favorite rap albums in general though 
Uh, next up, more Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. I got this at the record store last week. And it came with all the... It's the reissue, but the thing with this one is it came with all the original packaging. So it came with, like, the postcard and the posters and stuff. And it even came in, like, the black sleeve that conceals the artwork like it did back in the day. Uh, comes with all the lyrics. Uh, if I can get it out. And... The record itself is really thick, really, really solid, that's what she said. I I love that album, the album is great. But uh, next up we have Tool, I got this at the record store last week as well, on sale for like 11 or $12. Uh, it's not my favorite Tool record, but again, it's a really thick vinyl, double LP. Uh, it has songs like Sober and Prison Sex, uh, Bottom. I, I love this album. I can listen to this album all the time. I can listen to this band all the time as well. Definitely glad I picked that one up. Next up, my favorite Boston album, personally. Um, <laughs> it's the Boston self-titled album. Like, this is honestly probably in my top five albums. I got this at the antique store for like two or three dollars. Not again, record itself isn't in the best condition, but I cleaned it up and it sounds really, really good. Uh, includes songs like More Than a Feeling, Peace of Mind, Foreplay, Rock and Roll Band, etc, etc. Uh, no lyrics or anything, but the record was in a sleeve, which I always appreciate. Yeah. Great, great album. Definitely a classic. And the last one actually isn't even a music record. What it is, is I got this at the antique store, and it's a JFK Memorial album. I saw the artwork. I was like, is this an actual, like, band's record? Like, what is this? But uh, actually what it is is a bunch of his speeches. It's like his inauguration speech and stuff like that. I haven't even listened to it yet. I don't even know if it's in good condition or anything kind of a thin record but uh i don't know it was like three bucks it's like this would just be cool to have and uh, i have some other records that my parents gave me they're really old and really dusty and not in that great a condition but uh the only one like i actually listen to is this hollow notes private eyes really good record not as good as the other one i have and they also gave me some other stuff, like my mom had like a bunch of boy bands and like the Grease soundtrack and uh, the Saturday Night Live soundtrack and stuff like that. And my dad had a bunch of um, um, 45s, but I don't know, not really my, not really my music. So I don't really consider that a part of my collection. It's just something I have. But uh, yeah, I kind of want to do these videos once a month. Uh, I have some vinyls on pre-order right now, but I'm not going to spoil it. You have to wait until the beginning of September. Uh, yeah, subscribe for more concert reviews, album reviews, vinyl updates, vlogs, stuff like that. Once again, I am Sean, and I will talk to you guys later.